Hi everyone. In this lecture, we are going to discuss how to download the Python software and how to install it. Let us start. Before going to start this video, let us try to recall what we discussed in the last video that is lecture 2. As part of that video, we learned these topics. What is the official website for Python? Is Python open source? What is dynamically typed programming language and what is statically typed? Do we use compiler in Python or do we use interpreter or both? What is platform independent? What are NumPy, Pandas and Matplotlib? What are the limitations of Python? All these we covered in the lecture too. If you didn't watch it, please watch it and continue this video. After watching of this video, you will be able to give the answer for these questions. How to download and install Python software? What are the different versions available in the Python? Then how to set the path? What do we get after the installation of the Python software? Then first step, how to download Python software. For this, open any browser like Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge and type the URL www.python.org This is the official website for the Python as we discussed in our last video. Then after opening this website, go to the downloads menu in that website. Then see this. When you place the mouse on the downloads menu, you can observe this message. Then what are the latest version of the Python at that point? That will be displayed here. You can observe as of now, the updated version of the Python is Python 3.11.3. Just click on this button Python 3.11.3. Automatically, the Python software will be downloaded into your system. After the downloading the software, just double click on that file. The first screen you can observe is this one. So here the important point is, don't click on the install now directly. What I want to suggest to you is, so here we have one checkbox. This is empty by default. You must click within that box. You must check it. Then only the path will be set to the Python. If you set this path, you can execute the Python programs using the system prompt also. What is system prompt? How to execute? We will cover that later. And when you clicked within the box, that will be appear like this. This is the first step. After that, as a second step, you can click on the install now option. When you click on that install now, you can observe the setup progress like this. When the progress is completed, you will get the message like setup was successful and just click on the close button. This is the procedure, very simple procedure. Then after completion of the installation process of Python software, what do we get? Generally, we get these three software components. First one is Python and that version. You will get this after the installation. First one is command line environment. Command line windows with help of the command line window, you can execute the programs, but this is the single line environment. You can execute single line at a time. Second one is Python IDLE. This is a graphical user interface. You can find the menus. Then third component is Python module docs. So what are the different modules and libraries are installed along with your Python software? If you want to see that, you can see with help of this component. These are the three components you can find after installation of the Python software. Let us see this practically. First open the any browser that is Google Chrome or Edge and type python.org and press enter button. After that you will be redirected to the Python official website that is python.org and just place your mouse on downloads menu. Then you can observe here as and today this is the latest version python 3.11.3. Just click on this button, automatically the file will be downloaded into your system and just double click on that. Then 
click on run so as we have seen already this dialog box you can observe here and check this checkbox already we discussed it and after that click on install now so this is the installation process setup progress you can observe here this take few minutes only yes the setup progress is near to complete now the setup is completed finally you will get this message that is setup was successful just click on close button after installation of the python just in the search box type python you will identify the softwares installed related to the python that's it regarding to the installation process then check your knowledge what you learned from this video how to download and install python software we can download the python software from the official website python.org of course we can download it from the other website also but the official website is suggestible and we have seen the installation process also what are the different versions are available python 1.x 2.x 3.x latest version is python 3.11 as of now then how to set the path 